Hi, everybody. Won't you pray with me? This week, I've really been focusing on our need for peace, the need for peace in our world. I guess I've seen so much in the news lately and heard so much lately. I, I think of the protests in some of our major cities and the um, National Guard members that have been brought in to help to suppress some of the actions of peoples in those places. I've also been reminded that this weekend on August 6th and August 9th, we recall the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the first use of nuclear armaments. While that bombing brought an end to World War II, it also ushered in a new time in the life of the world, a time where nuclear power does exist, a time that brings greater responsibility for those who possess that power. Additionally, my mind is torn and brought to the people of Beirut with the bombing that occurred there yesterday. 2,500 people have been injured and nearly 50 are dead because of that bombing. In all things, I think we're so in need of peace. The anxiety in our world too with COVID. I thought that this week, the most appropriate prayer for us would be to join our voice to the Lord with the words attributed to St. Francis of Assisi. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, Grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are brought to eternal life. Lord, grant us your peace. Blessings, everyone. Have a great week.